Did you know there are seven different form properties that you can use to customize your forms? Adding, removing, or changing just one of these properties could save you both time and frustration. Welcome to QuickBase Junkie. I help QuickBase builders learn fast to deliver more. This video on the seven must know form properties is brought to you from the QuickBase Junkie blog. Head over to quickbasejunkie.com slash blog to follow along. The first form property is where you can change the form name. It's important that the name of your form reflects its purpose. If you copy a form, have multiple forms, or need to repurpose a form, this is where you'll update its name. The second form property allows you to show or hide the horizontal lines between your sections. Sections are great for organizing your forms, but that blue line demarking the separation may not be to your liking. You can turn this on or off for each of your forms, but unfortunately not section by section. Property number three lets you remove the built-in fields that show on the bottom of your form. QuickBase automatically puts the date the record was created, the date and user who last modified the record, and the record owner on the bottom of every form. Unchecking this property will remove them all. However, you can still add them anytime you want using the form elements just as you would any other field. Check out quickbasejunkie.com slash blog for all the details on using the form properties and lots of other great videos and articles. The fourth form property will allow or stop long field labels from automatically wrapping. By default, long field labels will wrap to the next line. If the format of your form would benefit from them not wrapping, simply uncheck this box. Like other properties, this is all or nothing. You can't control this behavior section by section. Property number five will add or remove an additional set of save and cancel buttons to the end of your form. If you have a short form or are using alternative formula buttons on your forms, you may wish to remove the save and cancel buttons from the bottom of your form. Or if you happen to not have them at the bottom of your form, this is where you can add them. The sixth form property gives you the option to save and keep working. If you like the option to save and next, you'll also appreciate save and keep working. It does just what it sounds like and can save you and your users from potentially losing work when working on a long form. The seventh and final property will set the behavior when new fields are added to your table. Whenever you add new fields to your table, they will automatically add to the bottom of your forms. It doesn't matter if that's not where they go or if you aren't ready for them yet. However, QuickBase gives you the option to control this in the form properties. This one property is so important, I dedicated an entire video to it alone. Check it out by following the link below to the QuickBase Junkie blog. That wraps up the seven must know form properties. And now that you know where to find all these great features, I'm sure you'll be saving both your time and frustration in no time. Thanks for watching. If you learned something new, please like this video. And to get your regular QuickBase Junkie fix, subscribe to QuickBase Junkie on YouTube or visit QuickBaseJunkie.com.